Were you hoping to find summer love this year? Time to give up on your hopes and dreams because summer love is a filthy lie. Hey friends, Lacey Green here for DNews. By the time I was 13, I had already learned by watching TV and movies and reading some teen romance novels that when summer came, it was sexy time. Ladies, Come get it. But you know what? The ladies never came, so I'm pretty skeptical. Is this whole love happens in the summertime thing supported by the facts, or are we all under some heat-induced delusion? There are a few reasons right off the bat that summer could possibly be a time for more flings. It's nicer out, so people get out of their house more, they have barbecues and picnics, they socialize. Well, most people socialize. Some of us just spend 16 hours on the internet instead of like, Eight. There's also the fact that for people in school, summer means you have more time. Time for adventures, mischief, and more time to pursue a romantic interest. Another interesting consideration is that more people work out in the summer months, and working out leads to more blood pumping to all parts of your body. Okay, I'll be blunt. People get more turned on when they work out, so summer love? Maybe but probably not. These hypotheses are basically where the support for the summer love phenomenon ends. Facebook published their relationship trends from 1.1 billion people and found that the summer months are actually the highest breakup months. They say that the number of relationships hits a low during the summer. So when is all the love actually happening, at least according to Facebook trends? In the winter. December and February are the highest love months. In December, with onset of winter, Sounds like people, you know, are looking for a cuddle buddy to cozy up to and get through the dreary months. And in February, the new relationships sharply spike on Valentine's Day. Isn't that so precious? Maybe I shouldn't talk so much shit about Valentine's Day. Still though, it's possible that people are breaking up in the summer because they've found some fresh meat, if you know what I'm saying. But let's look at another angle here, babies. According to the CDC, the highest months for giving birth are July through October, with the most babies being born in August. So if you count back, that means that people were getting jiggy in December, and the baby making season is November through January. So guys, that's it. Now you know, summer love is a hoax. False promises, broken dreams. But don't worry, you still have Anthony, Trace, and I. We'll keep you company until you find some winter loving. Don't forget to subscribe to DNews for two science updates from us every day, and we'll catch you later.